What's good with all my troops? It's your boy 529Dev, AK the Lieutenant, and I am back with another video, man, as y'all can see by the title and the thumbnail. Yes, man. Today I styled my first ever outfit with a trench coat. This is a piece that I thrifted a while ago, and I had it sitting in my closet for a little minute, and I really never found anything that I wanted to put it together with. And honestly, I didn't feel like holding back no more. So instead of it coming to me, I decided to lay out the trench coat and start trying shit to see what really goes with it i didn't want to go online and see how other people styled it i wanted to take it upon myself in my own personal style to see what i could do i really didn't feel like recording the actual styling process because a lot went into it bro i was trying a whole bunch of shit on i had clothes all over my bed just doing a whole lot of experimenting and seeing what really caught my eye but yeah with that being said i feel like this outfit that i styled with this trench coat is in a way that nobody else would i'm not gonna say nobody but as far as all the fits i've ever seen with a trench coat majority is basically the same over <laughs> honestly love stepping on my box and doing shit that i've never done before i don't know i just enjoy shit like that for those of y'all that really don't know me bro i actually genuinely love clothing bro it's so much that goes into it and that's exactly why i design my own clothes because i did as like fucking with garments and creating shit that i feel nobody else would think of i mean why else would i base majority of my channel around this shit if i ain't with it for real exactly dumb questions come with dumb ass answers i mean hey if we being real it's hella heads that make clothes just for bread bro ain't no type of feelings or anything involved with it but i just want y'all to know every piece i drop and every piece i've ever dropped has genuine feeling and meaning behind it bro and that's a fact and i'm gonna continue to do that but for the real reason y'all here y'all got a little sneak peek obviously we got the all black trench on me underneath we got this knitted sweater which y'all saw in my thrift pickup video for this year a leaks chain because my bones is being out would just look naked as hell it's just too much because obviously we don't got shit on under this and along with this trench coat being something that i'm doing for the first time something like this with no shirt under it's also a first for me this just look hard as hell to me bro i'm not even gonna lie let me take y'all down real quick so y'all can see what i got below i'm gonna try to get the best angle i could this what happens when you don't got nobody to help you out with shit. all right this should be cool but as y'all see we got these brown corduroy bell bottoms another pickup from that full vid and on the bottom we got the ricks this the fit right here, man. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm jacking this shit heavy. I'm glad to be stepping out of my comfort zone. But now, down to the pictures part, man. Obviously, it's gonna be times where you wanna take flicks, but you don't got nobody to do it for. You don't got no help. And for me, this happens more often than not. You gotta find some loopholes, ways around it, and be able to get your work done dolo. The process I'm about to show y'all is not really rocket science. All you're gonna wanna do is get a tripod. As I can see, I got mine right here. Got my piece on the floor. Let me just snap this back in here because I can't take flicks without it. And in my pocket, I got another piece. Piece. i'm gonna need this right here since i am gonna be taking the pictures off my phone not my camera so basically what you do is you screw this onto here just like this now once your setup is looking like this grab your phone get it nice and secure on there now obviously we want the phone to be vertical so what you're gonna want to do just take this bar flip it just like that and you're good to go bro next step now is to make sure the camera angle is looking right honestly right now it is looking a little boo boo so give me a second let me adjust this real quick hey so i got the angle all situated as y'all can see this is what the setup looking like i'm gonna leave y'all right here see i can see what's going on so behind the scenes i guess of how it looks when i take flicks on my own so yeah let's get right that man, bitch, that shit don't make no sense uh, I look in the mirror to figure out who I am I might take the window, but you still gon' see me win I can't let that hoe in, dog. She might just take advantage Told that bitch I don't do pills, no She don't believe the answer so if you don't know what I'm doing, basically there's a setting in your camera. If you got an iPhone where you could set a little timer, I put it on 10 seconds because I feel like three is just way too short. Press the photo button and I got 10 seconds to do whatever the hell I want. Uh, there's only so much I could do in this one spot. I got like three or four flicks that I actually f with. Honestly, I think that's good enough. For me at least, I don't want to go too crazy in one spot. But yeah, man, that's pretty much the process. I'm going to take a quick look at all the photos and make sure I'm satisfied before I actually leave this spot. So I just took a quick look. I got a solid three flick lineup for the gram. Next step to this whole process obviously is editing, but we done at this spot. I'm going to head home right now. Maybe if I see another spot on the way, I'll stop, take another couple flicks. And during that time, I'm going to debate if I should put y'all on to the editing. So I don't know, man. I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all could probably tell that this isn't the same day. It was just a lot 
going on to say the least but on my way back home i actually didn't see any more spots that i wanted to flick up at one thing i did do during that time is choose between the photos that i thought were cool and ones that i actually liked and felt were worthy for the gram i told y'all before it wasn't too many maybe like three or four but what i want to do before i throw them into lightroom on here is just show y'all the pictures before the edit so that way y'all can see i'm gonna throw them up on the screen for y'all but for the first two which are pretty similar only difference is my hand positioning for real and where i was looking as you can see the one where i only have one hand on my belt i'm looking straight at the camera and then the one where i have two hands i'm kind of looking up slight differences which i do feel switch up the photo a lot that's just my opinion though y'all might just look at them and say they look exactly the same which in a sense they do because i wanted to catch the front view of the outfit this shit is so annoying bro i don't know if y'all hear this lawnmower but it's like every time i back out the camera to record niggas just want to mow they lawn bro i promise you they do not worry about grooming their property when my camera's off bro shit crazy bro it's november that shit need to be put away so i could be left unbothered to talk to the troops hopefully it's not that big a deal y'all can't hear it anyway this next photo which is probably my favorite as you can see i'm kind of covering my face halfway with the trench and i just let away the proportions look especially with this scenery you got me right in between the two gates with the cross on top as well as the color scheme you can see my brown pants kind of complement those beige bricks i don't know bro i just pay attention to everything even the leaves on the ground look hard and just add to the photo a little bit it's definitely probably one of my favorite shots of this shoot which is kind of hard to say just based off the fact that this next photo right here is absolutely tough in my opinion i decided to pose up a little bit while holding a cross and it came out cool as hell in my opinion just the way the fit itself flows at this angle the different panels along the trench just go absolutely well with the sole of the abstract rigs down to the leather on the truey belt these three flicks just hard as hell to me but let me stop gassing myself i'm finna throw these into lightroom see what i could do and then i'm gonna catch up with y'all after and let y'all know exactly what i did so that way i could show y'all the before and the after y'all could compare and let me know so i just got finished messing around with these photos in lightroom i told y'all before i was the band if i wanted to put y'all onto the sauce and i'm gonna be honest man i can't even do it when i say i can't even do it i'm trying to say i can't keep it from y'all bro i'm too real and y'all with me way too much for me not to put y'all on i just got to i'll feel bad not doing it when you put the timer on your phone and you're taking the pictures you can't see yourself so you're not able to adjust the brightness and all of that from the camera app on your phone because one is far and it's facing the whole other way so you don't really know that's why i had to get these in lightroom just adjust the lighting a little bit contrast i put up about halfway highlights all the way up to 100 the highlights being up that much along with a couple other adjustments like the whites the blacks being down a little bit made the sky completely white and begin to glare which i honestly f with od it just looks like two opposites i'm wearing all black in the middle of black cages and black crosses with a fully white sky just glaring down on me i just find that tough and as you can see this point curve which is an adjustment as far as lighting um you can see the difference that it makes but i decided to leave it about like right here i feel that's perfect and then as far as color temperature tint i didn't really adjust anything like that because i like the darker vibe it just complements the fit if i were to put saturation up it would just look wacky saturation vibe vibrance i don't know i'm not a fan of this so i just left it how it is the natural color of the photo was just hard to me so i also didn't do anything to hue luminance but as far as color grading i decided to mess with midtones a little bit increase it hopefully you guys could see a bit of a difference in why i decided to put this up to about 66 uh, but besides that and the color grading i didn't really do much clarity i put down a bit i really don't like my photos looking too structured at the same time that also depends on the outfit and the scenery but specifically for this one i put it down to 33 haze also negative five that's pretty much it if you guys have lightroom and you want to throw the same edit on a different photo and the only way you know how to do that is by taking a picture of all these settings and going to the next one and just going down exposure contrast and putting it to the same adjustment then i'm finna bless you right now so if you go to the five icons on the right hand side of the screen all the way at the bottom you'll see three dots what you want to do is click on that go to copy edit settings and then once you go to a different photo that you want the edits on for example this one 
click the three dots again go to paste edit settings and then everything is gonna be there same exact edits that way when you're posting on instagram it doesn't look wacky it looks like they were taken off the same exact camera and they all give off the same vibe but i'm gonna put the complete pictures on the screen hopefully you guys like them if you didn't let me know man i love honest opinion i'm open to all different points of views and i'm not gonna knock y'all for disagreeing with me because how i really feel is that these is hard the outfit everything the vibe of the photos just flows together really nice but like i said i love hearing y'all feedback that's pretty much it for this video the whole entire process probably seemed a lot quicker than it really was just based off the fact that you have to find angles with a tripod you don't actually have somebody catching your angles and you have to go back and forth to set the timer run to where you want to catch the flick do a little pose just keep going back and forth if you don't like the pictures that you're taking but once you get the feel of how the pictures are coming out you're able to make adjustments and fix what you don't like about them and that's how i was able to get a good three or four that i actually like like i said about the tripod being stationary it's not the most ideal thing to do but sometimes you just don't have somebody to take your pictures and this is the only option you're left with if you want to be productive and get content out on the gram or whatever for your personal use portraits whatever it really doesn't matter i just wanted you guys to be able to see what i personally do that way you guys get an idea and an outline and you're just able to add your own source to it maybe add some lighting do this in a studio with a backdrop and if you have an actual camera that has a timer feature that allows you to take photos gives you about 10 seconds to stand in front of it before the shot is actually taken then you could attach your camera to a tripod and just make small adjustments like that but yeah i hope y'all did learn a little something new because that was pretty much the main goal of this whole video i'm gonna need all y'all to go on my ig at 529 dev it's always in the bottom corner of every single video i'm crazy consistent on there when i'm not on youtube you guys could connect with me on a more personal level by the time this video is up the pictures i just took will probably be on my ig i'm finna throw my recent ig flicks so that way i get a sneak peek of what i be posting before y'all go to instagram and type my sh in but also doing that would be appreciated so that way i could see all of my fits and be able to know if you rock with my vibe for real i genuinely love and appreciate all the troops that show love consistently when i post on ig so let's continue to grow this because i'm here and i'm here to stay and i'm not gonna let y'all down but anyways it's being boy 529 dev fly sub becoming youtuber and until next time i am out peace